Back from Milwaukee. I'm in my favorite place with one of my favorite people in the kitchen with Chef Fecker. The Chef Fecker. The one and only Chef Fecker. So I see a lot of very beautiful, colorful yeah. ingredients here. What am I going to eat? Oh, That's you're going to eat something that is a part of Fecker's family recipe revival. You oh, guys I judge this. That. Yeah. Yes. You guys judge this uh, recipe, and this is about a pepper and potato soup, basically, oh, yeah. PMP. This right. is a great idea. And okay. my concept is taking those recipes and make, reviving them a little bit and making it easier to make, faster to make, and full of flavors and natural ingredients. Okay. By the way, for all of you that are watching, you use my Twitter account, at Chef Fecker, and answer the following questions. What do chili sauce and the riot police have in common? Chili sauce and the riot, riot police. police. Yeah. Okay. Give me that answer, and you're gonna win a gift certificate to Mito Brunch. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. Don't you, uh, have I told you the answer yet? <laughs> no, then they're fine. You can no. go. You can okay. go and answer. Okay. Yeah, you can do it as well. Let's right. start by adding the bacon first, and the reason for that is we want to render the bacon a little bit and bring out the fat, and let that fat be the base of our food. So that's called rendering the bacon. Rendering exactly. Okay. Drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Now you may say, hey, this has enough fat. Why? We're using the extra virgin olive oil as a conduit to take the heat from the bottom of the pan and heat the bacon a okay. little bit. We move it around, and once we hear this beautiful noise, mm -hmm. yeah. that is... And the smell. Oh, mm. They should make a candle like that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That right? would be amazing. They should. Don't, don't give that idea. I'm sorry. Well, let's go together. Okay. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's funny because she doesn't like candles, so if she'd no. like a bacon candle... That's the one. Or you could yeah. just have Chef Fecker in your kitchen at all times. <laughs> you, you can have a Fecker way. candle if you want. Ooh, okay. Onions. Onion, garlic. Now, how much onion is that? Because that looks like that, a lot That's of onion. a lot of onion. You know, the onion is the base of sweetness in many things. Ah. And right now, instead of adding sugar mm -hmm. and getting away the acidity of some ingredients, I use a lot of onion and carrots. Okay. Now remember, we're gonna do this in live time, guys. We're not, I don't have anything pre-made in advance okay. to do this. So we're going to increase the temperature a little bit more. Serrano chilies and jalapenos. Very nice and spicy and earthy. If you have issues with the serranos, use jalapenos. If you don't, then use serranos. Okay. But serranos are smaller, thinner, and a lot more robust. Notice that I took the vein, which is that white vein, and the seeds out. Are they That's hotter? Those are they hot are hotter and That's spicier. Little, yeah. And you take those out, you have a, you're dealing with a lot of those stomach issues. Some people can't have pepper. You oh. take those seeds out, you've helped yourself tremendously. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. So as this is rendering and also sweating, this is what we call the sweating process. Now, green peppers. There's not spice, but there's that beautiful flavor of green peppers. More robust than red. And next, oh, I wish all of you was, were with us uh, here in the I studio. Mean, it's amazing. But the colors are amazing also. Now, this is not the, what is this? This is poblano. This is, okay. This is this baby right here. Ah, all right. So and those it, were bell, okay. I got bell it. and the poblano. And okay. by the way, um, Cassandra, if you go to a store and you see some dry chilies that are red called ancho, which means white in Spanish, yes. those are these same poblanos that have been smoked and dried. Ah, okay. okay. And then we go here. Enchilada sauce, the red enchilada sauce uses those ancho chilies as well. Okay. Next, last but not least, we're going to put the main thickening agent here. So a lot of you at home, you get these recipes that need flour to thicken and you're gluten intolerant. Yeah. You use potatoes to thicken your dish and you pull out the gluten. That way you have the thickening agent, which comes from the starch oh, of the potatoes okay. and no gluten whatsoever. Oh. We add these. Now those are just plain chopped potatoes Exactly. In water. I, Idaho potatoes, they call them. Russet potatoes, they call them. They're exactly the same. Why do we keep them in water? We do not want oxygen to touch potatoes. That's why they change color on you the minute wow. you cut them. So that's the reason. You now, just know everything. I love does. it. I love everything that is about food. You know, the more I know, the better I can perform and the pass my love to every one of you I out know. there. I know. We yeah. like it. See? <laughs> Combining it all together. This is all coming together. Once we come back in the next segment, you'll see I'm going to puree with my boat motor that I brought here that I go fishing my with usually. Motor. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to puree the, uh, the soup half pureed, half not. Why? I want your mouth to sing with texture and also with flavor. So that's a great way of doing even beans at home. My mouth is going to sing. One with more texture. time with that question. Right. Let's put it on your screen. That you want to answer it on Twitter? Exactly. At Chef Fecker, what do chili sauce and riot police have in common. Okay, tweet them at Chef Fecker with the answer and you could win a free meal. Absolutely, you're coming to brunch and I'm gonna cook for you. I like it, I like it. I like it. All right, Starbucks sell.